In this video, we will examine the DNA results of an early Iron Age sample from Vologda region in northern Russia, the village of Menino in particular. I used academic tools, such as Edmixtools 2, but also amateur tools, such as my Mageplot tool, G25, and my trait predictor to analyze his genetics. Here's his Mesolithic breakdown computed with Edmixtools 2. According to this breakdown, the dominant ancestry component in the sample is the Neo-Siberian component, which makes up 43% of his ancestry. He has significant European hunter-gatherer admixture, names 22% Eastern and 16% Western hunter-gatherer. He also has non-negligible Anatolian and Caucasus admixture. This Bronze Age model finds 40% Baltic Bronze Age ancestry in the sample, together with 31% Bolshoi Olini Ostrov and 30% East Siberian. The Bolshoi Ostrov and Estonia Bronze Age are local components, while the East Siberian is likely an immigrant component. Based on the East Siberian admixture, we can say for sure that this sample has an immigrant background. According to G25, this sample clusters with such West Siberian populations as Zabalotnai Tatars and Mansi, who are actually quite similar to each other. It can be modeled as a mixture of Sami with Mansi and Ivenk. Here we see the same picture as with the QPADM model shown early. This sample is a mixture of indigenous Uralics of Vologda, which cluster with Sami, with a Siberian immigrant group that Monsi and Evenk acts as a proxy for. Now let's move on to his trait predictor results. He was predicted to have light brown eyes, black hair, light brown skin, wavy hair, and a Greek nose shape. He was predicted to be a warrior, meaning to have lower dopamine levels and quicker dopamine reuptake. He was predicted to have greater D2 receptor site density, higher odds of autism. He was predicted to be lactose intolerant. He was predicted to have higher empathy. He carried two H63D risk variants for hemochromatosis and possibly suffered from this condition. Hemochromatosis is most prevalent in Northwestern Europe and is often called the Celtic curse due to its prevalence in Celts. He had higher odds of epithelial cancers, lower odds of autoimmune disease based on HLA genotypes, and lower homocysteine levels. He carried no risk variants for colorblindness. He scored high for odds of obesity based on FTO genotypes. His predicted blood type is decisively A. He carried the A1-A2 genotype in TAC1 associated with lower D2 receptor density. His EDAR genotype suggests European facial traits. He carried CT genotype for ACTN3s R577X. He likely did not have the photic sneeze reflex. He did not carry the Asian flusher mutation. He had elevated odds of cannabis-induced psychosis. He carried 1NQ01 asterisk 2 allele for leukemia. He carried 3 HLA B27 alleles for autoimmune disease. He carried one copy of the hunter-gatherer CLTCL1. He carried one copy of the dry earwax and reduced body odor Asian variant. He scored particularly high for odds of AMD, rheumatoid arthritis, myopia, male pattern baldness, DVT, bipolar type 1, schizophrenia, and polycythemia vera. He scored particularly low for odds of testicular cancer, type 2 diabetes, atrial fibrillation, eczema, migraine, and multiple sclerosis. He carried rare risk variants for Parkinson's, Putzjägers, Jacob Kreutzfeldt, CYP2A6, familial Mediterranean fever, prostate cancer, and holoprosencephaly. You can purchase his genome in 23andMe format from the link in description of the video.